G'day and welcome to Nurse on the Go videos. My name is Phil. Um, today I want to show you how to have a shower by yourself when you're incapacitated with one arm. I've actually had an injury two days ago where I've um, cut my artery and nerve and a bit of tendon. So this arm's quite weak and I can't use it. I have a big wound running down the front side of the arm. so. It's under a bandage and I need to keep this dry and elevated at all times. So how do you have a shower? Well, first of all, we need to get prepared. We need to have our gear all ready. So I've got two plastic bags because I never trust that the old shopping bag um, doesn't have holes in it. So I've just got a little, these are freezer bag actually. Um, you can also use bin liners, just not used ones obviously, but a fresh roll because they fit over quite nicely. Also get some tape because you want to tape the bottom up so it seals nicely. So I've got some tape here. So I've already done three bits of tape but what you do is find the edge. Um, I can't put any pressure on these fingers so I've got to pull everything with my right hand. Get a good decent length that will wrap around your arm at least once and then tear it off. So I'll have them all ready on the side. I start with a smaller bag, put that my arm in the smaller bag and then I tie it round as tight as I can. Now it doesn't go all the way down because it will cover the main part of the wound or any splashing and then my other bag will come further down up to my elbow pretty much and I can take that. So this is the first one. So what I do, the direction that you pull the bag in is the direction to put the tape. So. I'm still learning this myself, it is a tricky, tricky exercise. So I'll start at the bottom and just get it to gently stick. Then press it next to my body and get it to wrap around. See how I've got a bit lifted up there? I'm just going to push that under with my finger. So it's trying to be a bit dexterous with one hand, it is, it is tricky. So I'm trying to make sure I get it all sealed underneath the tape. And I've done enough so I can get a lap and a half around. So that's why you need a lot of tape. So now that's sealed up there. There's still water can get in around the bottom. So that's where our second bag comes in. So I'll put our second bag on. See how that covers everything? Now I wrap this around. And it keeps twisting it, as you see. So it is, you know, it does take a bit of time to get it going. So there, so I've got that covering. So now, this is why you have your tape prepared early, because when you only got one arm, it's a bit hard. So see, I'm following the line, I'm going to tape it, and follow the direction that I started. So this first bit of tape is just to secure, you don't want to close off all the ends straight away, it's just to secure the bag down. Now you don't want it too tight that it's cutting off blood supply, you just want it firm enough that you can create a seal. So now I've sealed it there, I'll grab another piece of tape, let it latch on, and put that round the bottom and cover up any holes now. So that's, and see, it's all nice and sealed around the bottom. And there you go, that's my arm in a bag. Now for the rest of the equipment, I've got an actual shower head that comes off, which is really fortunate. So you can keep this arm elevated like you meant to and I can shower with the other hand. Um, the other thing is I've also got my soap and my razor, everything prepared because once you're in there, um, coming out is very difficult. So let's, let's go and have a shower. Righto, I'm going to leave my shorts on for this demonstration but I'll just show you how you can get your top off with one arm. So I need to keep this arm elevated as much as possible so with my right hand, um, I don't have a button up shirt, but you try and undo your buttons one at a time, if you did. Um, what I'm going to do is try and slip it over my head first, because that's the trickiest bit. Leave your arm up, okay, so it's off. And then the last thing you do, you slip it off your good hand first, and then slip it off your affected arm, like so. Alrighty, so we'll leave that. I'll leave that up to the side there. Alright, so 
Uh, I don't have individual taps. Uh, uh, that's ridiculous. I don't have one single mixer tap, which would be nice and easy. I've got individual ones. So I'll put the cold tuna tap. So now the trick is to keep this arm dry while I'm trying to have a wash with the rest of myself. So if you only have a fixed shower head, just have to work around it. So I'll start with my good side. Just be mindful when you're bending down that you don't get this affected arm weight. So you just have some good scrubs. See now my shells are starting to hurt a bit because it is staying up hard. So it does hurt after a while. Um, it's something I'll hopefully get used to over the next few days. I don't want to get slippery outside the shower on the tiles. So I want to stay in the shower and dry myself off. You think it feel how do you do your back? Well what it, I found this cool little trick. Is I put the towel up on an edge somewhere and I just rub it up and down my back like that. So now I'm dry, I can undo um, this band. So the other thing to do too, which I should do, is I've got a bit of water on it. So before you open it, just make sure that it's a um, bit dry. If it's wet, what can happen is water can get um, when you're undertaking the bandages, the water can get inside and get your dressing wet. So, I don't want to do that. So, I've dried it off. just how to have a shower when you've got one arm and it is difficult even for a professional like myself um, so if you've got any questions please drop us a note and I'm Phil I'm here to help you care and thank you for watching Nurse on the Go videos. Ta-da for now. Bye bye.